Today we are going to take a look at BDD GUI test recording. Let's jump into it. I have prepared a small BDD test case. I am using Squish for Windows and the WPF address book example. As you can see, the steps are underlined yellow here. Which means that no step implementation was found. If we open the steps py file, this confirms that. Let's start to record some actions. First step is that my application is running, so I can confirm this here. The second step would be to click on file. I can also mark this as done. Third step would be click on new. On the keyboard right now, I'm pressing the control key and the left button at the same time, which allows me to open the menu without recording the click on file again. So I can click on new. So I can confirm this or just stop the recording, which also finishes the current step. So as we see, we have three steps recorded. We are going back to the initial feature file, which indicates that still one implementation is missing, but three of them are done. So if I would replay the script real quick, we will see an error, which says that one step is missing. A very nice feature is that I can just click on record again. Now the scripts replays until the next missing step occurs, which is the, the add button is enabled. So I can create a property verification point for that. Use the green pipette tool, pick the button, go to the enable property, say save and insert verifications, and also stop the recording at this point. Let's replay this real quick. As we can see now, everything is marked as green, as well as the property verification point, which confirms that the add button is enabled as expected. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in our second product, Coco, which is a multi-language coach coverage tool. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye bye!